Hello, good morning everyone. Today is Monday, December 14, 2020. And uh, today is the launching of this uh, channel's uh, free daily online tutorial for web development. By the way, before I start, uh, I'm Antonio Rigondola Jr. And this is my channel, Tony Rigondola's channel. To give you a brief intro about me, I'm actually a senior lead developer or a senior software engineer and working in a company and at the same time uh, I'm also a mentor so this will this will be a journey and uh, this is just the first day of our web development uh, tutorial or topics and uh, I want I wanted to start or to begin with with a very uh, substantial uh, introduction about uh, this journey because uh, in my observation there are so many software technologies today that are coming out and uh, I have nothing against with all of them what I just want you to understand is the uh, general idea and the core concept or should we say the secret in web development so this is something like a revelation although uh, maybe some of you already know it so what is this that what I am saying as you can see on in our screen we have the different topics or the different uh, software technologies or we also called it programming languages although some of them are not because HTML is coding or scripting for HTML document so actually uh, in web development because programming is a very broad topic so we will focus in web development as one of the programming uh, procedures or processes or programming languages because we have uh, different pro web programming languages also but uh, these uh, topics that you can see on your screen are the ingredients that we need for us to become a web developer and let us also not misunderstand let us not uh, misunderstand also uh, about the difference between web design and web development so uh, we will focus more on web development or on the scripting side In order to become a web developer, or shall we say a web programmer, at least you need to understand about HTML and CSS, JavaScript, and any server-side programming languages like PHP, Python, ASP, C Sharp for web development, or or all the .NET uh, frameworks or Windows uh, software technologies for web development and of course without the main ingredient which is the database the web development will not be so much productive or will not be complete that's why I have included there the MySQL actually uh, there are a lot of languages or there are a lot of technologies as I've said earlier that we can uh, that we can study or that we need to study or we can factor in about the web development I've just uh, chosen few few of them although this can go beyond because again this is not just a one day and one hour topic before actually I've decided to launch this uh, online tutorial live cast tutorial uh, I've committed to myself to dedicate at least one hour a day for for this journey and uh, this will be a continuous process because uh, software to technologies don't stop when you way back 2000 when I graduated in college as BS computer science there are only few programming 
uh, web programming languages as I remember I first started with ASP the ASP class classic or the active server pages classic and then eventually we shifted to Java servlets or Java and then to Java server pages so that's different so we have used different languages and we have uh, we have used also different database platforms like MySQL, MS SQL Server of Microsoft of different versions and the uh, other platforms and especially this time there are already a lot of uh, database platforms but still if we will only understand the secret in web development we can we can say that I do not claim or we do not claim that uh, we will be the master of all of this but somehow if we understand uh, the the technique or the general concept of this if we are planning in the future to migrate into different or to study different languages like or programming languages specifically we will not be uh, astray we, or we will not be confused in what steps that we need to be done okay so actually uh, I want you to begin with an end in mind why, why I'm saying this because uh, I want you to to uh, start thinking about creating a web in two categories or in two types or two kinds of uh, web development or a website let's say so those two things are first the static the static page or the static website and the other one is the dynamic or you can also do both but if you understand these two things you will know that your path or journey to becoming a web developer so when we say static and that is a common word once you write something a script in your HTML document because uh, HTML is the is the basic foundation and others say it's the easiest uh, among other uh, software technologies and web development and that is I also a part I also agree with it but uh, some people skipped in understanding the deeper part of HTML because of the ready uh, WYSIWYG tools when we say WYSIWYG for those who are novice that is a what you see is what you get too that you will just need to click and drag let's say you want to include buttons in your page you click the button and include it to your uh, to your page if you want a text box to in order that the user can enter their their information let's say last name first name or whatever is that email address or if you're asking for a, a uh, customer's name so you need a text box so all those things are available in a WYSIWYG tool and even during our time when I was in college way back 1998 or 1999 to 2000 there is all there is already uh, or there are already few of them like Netscape Composer, Microsoft Front Page, and then eventually when I was already working as a junior web developer and an analyst at the same time, uh, we used uh, our designers rather are using uh, Dreamweaver. So that is also a very powerful tool. So uh, they, they do their design, their graphics design in Photoshop or in any other uh, tools. So that's also a different topic when you say graphics design but that is related also to this and again well, uh, we, we don't need to be a master of everything what we just need is an understanding of everything about the web development because if we only understand we know what we do and we know what path are we are we going or are we are we heading to so that's what that's what my point is so I want to uh, 
I want to take this uh, opportunity for you to to show about the difference but about the static and the second one the dynamic website or the dynamic page when we say dynamic page or dynamic it changes the contents are changing and if that is changing if you're if you're uh, if you're doing the static page you need to rewrite or to edit the actual page or script for you to be able to change the contents in your web or in your, in your page but in a dynamic uh, way of doing the page you you don't need to to from from time to time download edit the page the content and then re-upload it for it to reflect to your uh, to your website or page so and then a dynamic site is supported is most of the time supported by uh, a database so I want you to understand about the use of the database or any database platform in our case we will be using the MySQL as our example although I'm not saying that those are the only languages that we can be tackled I cannot just put everything in the screen but this basic languages that you can see on your screen especially the first uh, the first four or the first five is very those are very important or somehow already enough for you to learn the uh, the basic concept or the general idea for the entire web development okay so uh, again I want this uh, one hour uh, first day as our launch launching to uh, have a very uh, simple demonstration on what uh, what I am saying about which is the static and the dynamic page and I also want to explain to you the reason behind why I make this one hour tutorial live cast because uh, when uh, I keep on thinking and studying about the strategy that uh, I may do as a mentor well actually I was also a part-time uh, mentor and uh, teacher uh, I thought that uh, it's better if uh, I will give this uh, an hour an hour dose every day so that uh, you will not be overwhelmed with the information that you're getting although I also agree that in just few minutes you can learn almost uh, a lot of things in web development but to tell you frankly also and I think everyone also knows about this that in order for you to have mastery you have to do it uh, um, you have to do it you have to practice it you have to learn by doing so you have to actually do it and I encourage you that during our daily live tutorial you will you will be uh, you will be cooperating so I'm also giving you instructions the next time you can use uh, your mobile phones or your tablets for watching this but if you really want to learn web development I encourage you to use your laptops or desktops and to participate follow the steps that we are going to do in our daily livecast one of the reasons also why I made this as daily livecast because uh, you can also raise your questions we have the chat box there although if there were there will be uh, huge questions we cannot uh, maximize our one hour daily livecast if we're going to uh, 
answer it one by one but uh, we will try our best to address everything even uh, during or even after the live cast you can also uh, put comments below either uh, uh, either a question or a, an input so everyone and everything is welcome for as long as uh, it is aligned to our purpose for as long uh, as it will help us it will help everyone so and also uh, please try also your best to to uh, participate and raise questions those are related for our day-to-day uh, -to -day topic because there are many things to be learned in web development and we cannot address and we cannot tackle everything in a day oh, especially it's just an hour and a one hour session what I'm planning also is actually uh, um, we will we will I will try to uh, to use only the 30 minutes the first 30 minutes for showing you the entire process on how to do some examples and exercises and the remaining 30 minutes I will let you do it and raise some questions and uh, I will be answering those queries in, in in our chat box so that you have time to listen and then you also have time to uh, do it on your own that's actually what I am also doing or what we're doing in 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 teaching uh, it's a lecture some of the time will be the lecture time and then the remaining will be the laboratory time so the same thing that we're going to do with this live cast okay so for now I will already start uh, showing you or I will demo to you the uh, actually it will not take much of your time because I, I will just make it very simple for you to understand about the static in the dynamic page okay so I will uh, start showing you on how to uh, on how to create a database in your in our mysql in our case so we will be using mysql and then after that we will show it to our page or website okay so i will open a browser okay hello everyone or an editor rather okay. okay so as you can see from your screen so I have here I have there an editor so and also I will also share a browser By the way, speaking of editor, you can use either Notepad or, although there are already a lot of editors, there is a uh, Sublime, uh, Bluefish, Context, or there are many uh, editor in creating a web develop uh, a web, or for your web development, or as your web development tool. But I encourage you to uh, for this uh, exercises to use the plane like notepad or in my case I'm using Linux so it's gedit and the uh, other uh, plain uh, text uh, uh, what do you call it what do you call this text IDE or your uh, editor in Levan's term so and if you're using uh, Windows or Windows platform there is a notepad 
and if lin if it's Linux, there is Gedit or the Vim or the Vim. For as long as it is just a plain uh, editor, do not use the. I do not encourage you to use the WYSIWYG for this exercises because you can just use that later on if you're already if you already understand or if you have already a basic knowledge okay so let us continue I will also share my uh, my screen okay so hello everyone again as you can see on my screen or on your screen I have opened a uh, database so that is the PHP my admin or you can go directly using your uh, CLI that or your command line if you're comfortable with it but uh, for the majority we will be using this uh, uh, GUI or the web-based uh, tool to access the MySQL anyway uh, I will also explain that uh, in our one of our topics regarding that we, we will focus on that but by this time uh, just continue to uh, understand or absorb that uh, this kind of uh, this what you can see on your window is just a way to manipulate the MySQL as a database platform so to give you also an understanding about the database platform uh, a bird's eye view about it uh, have you not wondered why even if you use or if you register through your mobile phone you can still access it on your desktop or in other places for as long as there is an internet access let's say for example you create your account you fill up your names and other information either from cell phone from ga any gadget or let's say from desktop or laptop and vice versa and in one place to another or in other places you can still access it it's because it is being stored in a database so whatever database platform that they're using so one good example is the Facebook or the Google account so if you create a Gmail or Google account you can open it through your cell phone and you would see your name there and other information you could also modify that because that's already being stored in the database and once you click some buttons there let's say edit so it's just a sort of command and there is an equivalent codes also that retrieve from database going to the page for you to be able to see and uh, to view your uh, information and to be able to modify the information that you need to change so that's the that's actually the use of a database okay so I will continue to show on how to create a database okay. so I will log my account and then I will create a new I have here some existing database I will click the new to create a new one and let's say for example we create a test database I will name that as test database or test and then by this time you could see there that we could already create a table let's say for example we're going to create a an address book and uh, we will store the different contacts information so I will name this as contacts and let's say we have uh, last name first name and then last name first name and then the mobile number or the contact number let's say, let's say. so f plus the ID so that's four okay so here we have ID and then uh, integer because uh, that will be an integer number as our ID uh, for those who have no experience yet in database 
uh, don't be confused about it. Just imagine that we're creating a container for the information that we need to store. And uh, you, you will actually learn that eventually as we go along. Okay? So, it should be a primary key. Okay? And then, auto increment or AI. And then here, we put last name and varkar and 30 characters because last name could I think uh, maximum of 30 will do for the first name even if it's two names three names maybe 30 will do also okay and then contact number okay. so even even if it's a contact number we will not use integer because uh, uh, the inputs could have a parenthesis or a zero number because if it begins with zero it will be eliminated because it is considered insignificant if it is an integer or number value so we will be using the var car also so that it will be treated as character you can input anything even asterisk or uh, open and close parenthesis or other wild characters that you want to include in uh, entering the contact numbers because anyway we will not be using that in our computations so I think about 30 if it's if let's say you have two mobile numbers uh, or three telephone numbers that would be fine okay and then we will now create this save okay so we have now here the contacts table so never mind about this it is just a matter of configuration it's a page to my admin settings so we can ignore that so as you can see from here it, that's an empty result an empty result set because we have no record yet so zero rows so we don't have record yet let's say for example we insert directly a sample uh, information okay let's say insert and then uh, so by default we have two uh, we have two records that we can you can enter at the same time or you can even increase that into if how many records that you want at first or even just a single record if you click here go if it, meaning to say this part will only be saved or the the entry from here will be saved not for this one but if you click this one all the two at once okay so let's try to input two uh, sample data let's say John Doe do John and then contact number let's say 0123 and then here um, let's say uh, Clara Maria and four five okay. so something like that and then we will click here to save the two files and then when we click the browse button so as you can see from here we have already two records so we have John Doe or da Doe Chan that's the sample number and then Clara Maria or Maria Clara and then that's the sample contact number okay so if we're going to uh, display this or to view in our site actually uh, you can just write on your page Jando and then Maria Clara and write these numbers but that's not dynamic and uh, there is no database uh, uh, behind it okay so in order to do that uh, uh, we will be using PHP we will be using PHP to do this sample okay at first we need to have a server connection or a connection to our database server so uh, in declaring a variable in PHP by the way don't worry um, I'm, I will not pressure you to understand everything uh, I'm ju I just want to show you first on how it works together because HTML uh, JavaScript and your database which is MySQL in this case are working are working together to come up with a dynamic site 
actually by this time I will not use first uh, the JavaScript and uh, we will not tackle much of the HTML because uh, this is actually the entire or the whole functionality in doing a dynamic or uh, a database database driven uh, website oh, by the way uh, I will share the ah, I am still on the database I will share my uh, my editor okay Okay, so as you can see on your screen, we have already there the editor, so we will be using the PHP, okay? So, uh, from here, that is the PHP tag. We will establish a connection in declaring a variable in PHP. So, MySQL before, and this time MySQL I. That's the newer version of uh, the MySQL. I for stands for improved MySQL I connect to establish a connection with your database server so in our case uh, I'm using my laptop so that is uh, or even a desktop so we can just specify localhost but uh, if you're using or if you're going to use a database server from other uh, from other servers or other places so you can specify the public IP in order to access that and then I'm using the uh, admin uh, as my username for for my database or my SQL and then this is the password that I am using admin admin exclamation point and then that's it and terminated by a semicolon and then once it is established uh, the next thing that we need to do ah we also because this is the newer version of the My mysql we don't need to separate the database uh, name so on the on the fourth parameter so first localhost second admin the third parameter is the password admin is the username for the database uh, for the mysql database that we're using admin admin exclamation point is the password and then the database name which we we have just uh, created which is the test or you can name that into let's say contacts or address book or whatever so in our case we named us we named that as test so by this time we have already established connection with our database server and once we already have that we can already create a result set or record set meaning to say we are going to retrieve the different records from the database from a particular table so the hierarchy of a database is the database let's say the test and under it there can be many or several tables in our case we have just created only one by this time which is the contacts table so in order to access that and to create a result set or record set for that what the command that we need for uh, PHP is MySQL query okay so uh, we will be using the plain simple uh, plain and simple sql statement which is the select asterisk from from and the table name which is contacts in our case okay. and now if you have already uh, created uh, the result set or the record set you can already display that in our page or browser by uh, fetching the records or the array of the array from the rows or the different records so we will be using a looping statement to loop for each row or each record containing on our tables okay let's say we will be using the while statement that say we will be using dollar rs and dollar con are all variables and this one dollar row for our uh, row set or record in every line of our result set so my sql i fetch array so that is a built-in command my sql connect and my sql i query my sql fetch array so those are built in and the parameter of this is the result set because we will be access accessing 
every row or every record from that result set that we have gathered from our database okay so begin and end and echo command is also the same with the print mm -hmm. command that is to display the particular value so either a static let's say you specify here one something like that or that is static that is meaning constant value so what we're going to access or to display is the uh, dynamic one or the records coming from your database or this specific table which is contacts okay so uh, dollar row because that is the variable that will handle every row as you are uh, this is actually an assignment operator not a conditional because you are assigning this and this the while statement is conditional statement meaning to say if this is true then this will proceed inside this will execute the statements inside this uh, code okay so dollar row and then that will be we will specify the the, the field name okay so what are the field names I'll show you we'll get back to the field names so those are the field names okay where's my browser no the field names are the ID last underscore name first underscore name and then the contact number so we have just created uh, four fields one is auto increment and actually uh, we have only three information uh, that we have stored for our uh, contacts okay so let's get back to to our code okay so from this uh, source code so we can now call on our field names or column names like let's say uh, if we want to okay let's start with the last name last name and then uh, that for concatenation in other languages that's plus sign in JavaScript and other uh, languages so or ampersand in, uh, in let's say other languages also so in, in our case that's p this is PHP so we will be using that and then BR this is an HTML command actually Okay, so br is an HTML command, meaning to say break, line break, so so that the next items will be listed below or on the next line. Okay, so as simple as that. Okay, so let's try this one. We will save that in our uh, local server. Let's say uh, uh, test okay I will save this into for a moment I'll just create a folder let's say this is um, YTC uh, uh, lessons okay and then create and then from here let's say we'll name this as contacts uh, or view contacts that page three okay so uh, save no it is now being saved as view underscore contacts that page three so for us to be able to access that again uh, you don't need to I'm not requiring you by this time to uh, to open your to to open your editor and install everything and uh, and do these things but uh, if you have already existing installations there then that's good but if you don't have yet just follow the flow just understand and uh, try to absorb first what I'm trying to explain about the dynamic page okay now let's move to the to the page okay so from our page I will open the I will, we will access
Lessons view contacts that page page me. Mm -hmm. So no result yet. So we will check the code. Let's get back to the codes. Okay, what's the problem with this? So we have here the database MySQL IFH array. Okay. What's the problem? View contacts. Test and then contacts. For a moment. We will check. For a while. My SQL I connect. Maybe we have missed something. Mm. So the first parameter here in our MySQL query would be the connection. So dollar con must be specified here. So dollar con meaning to say uh, we are trying to execute this query, the select asterisk from contacts, into that particular connection or database server. We are pointing it there. Okay, let's try to check if it's already working. Okay. See? So, as you can see from your window, we have there the Do Clara. So, let's try to uh, display uh, all the information for this contacts ta table. Okay, let's get back to our code for a moment. And then from here, we will uh, include a first name. So let's concatenate the let's say comma and uh, let's just copy this and change this as our first name. Okay, so we have the last name, comma the first name, and I think a single space from here after the last name. And then what else? The contact number. It's very important. Let's say Let's just include a, uh, a a dash, something like that, or hyphen, and then the contact number. So for the contact number, we will specify here uh, contact. What did you use there? Contact number. Contact underscore number. Okay. Okay. So I think this is good. So echo last name and then after the last name this is dynamic whatever the last name being fetched in every row and then comma single space because that's the correct format in presenting the last name and the first name. And then after that hyphen or dash for the contact number. Or later on you can use tables or let's say list items or whatever kind of uh, presentation that you can do but again what I'm trying to share with you for at first is to understand so we can do the design better later but uh, at first I want you to know on how everything works okay so let's save this and try to move to our uh, to our page and then uh, let us uh, let us refresh oops oh, there is a problem I think and let's get back to the codes 
So what's the problem with this? Last name, first name, okay? And then concatenate hyphen, and then the contact number. Ah, we forgot to put that here. So we need, we also need to concatenate the BR or the line break. And then let's save this and move back to the, get back to the page. Okay, and then refresh. Oh, see? So we have here already the Do and then the John and Do John or John Do. So this is his number, Romaria Clara. This is her contact number. Okay, so this is already, uh, you can do this actually even without understanding that. In your static page, you just type in these things or you just copy and paste all the things that you have written in Excel or MS Word and that will already be displayed or shown in your page but that is only static page so if you want to do some modifications you need to re-download and re-upload the file in order to reflect the changes so why I'm trying to explain this because later on you can have here an editing to edit from your from the from this page without downloading the source code and later on if you create a system and on you, you have an admin tool or admin part or the utility part or the configuration tools or whatever or whatever or whatever you call it even if you're not a developer you can already modify the content so you don't need to uh, to edit the the source codes every now and then if you want to have changes or to add some contacts or in our case it's just a sample contacts information but that this is applicable to everything that you want to need especially if you're going to create a system or web application okay so uh, this is just very basic but this is very important for us to understand again because even if there are so many frameworks already that make other people confused especially our young programmers uh, you will not be uh, you will not be lost if you are if you only understand the essence the main purpose of a web development so even if you use any framework for as long as you understand this is actually the the basic or the core understanding of programming even if you're using different programming languages this is the first thing that you need to understand for you to uh, to before you go too far in your uh, web development so I think it's already uh, it's almost seven o'clock in the morning and we will end this session after a few minutes and uh, I will try to read if you have uh, or try to post some comments or questions in our chat box and I can just get back to you or reply to you uh, when I am free and uh, let's just continue in our uh, discussions and in this journey because there are so many things that need to be uh, to be learned and there are exciting things that you will really appreciate if you are interested in web development or programming because uh, this concept actually is not only applicable in creating a web application or in a web programming languages but even in other languages and enterprise tool I remember when I was in college uh, the first uh, database driven system that I created was in Visual Basic using the uh, MS Access as our backend and eventually the MySQL so uh, having that uh, foundation or understanding I have realized that someday I could also create this in a web application not just creating or or posting our pictures creating my personal page but 
something it's a page or a website that could uh, solve problems also or if you want to create your personal website or I mean your uh, your own website for your business you can make a dynamic page let's say if you are if you are selling online your your uh, if you're selling fruits online so you can upload banana or sometimes uh, without uh, changing or modifying every now and then your codes although there are already existing CMS right now there is a WordPress uh, and in different frameworks they also have the CMS or Joomla uh, there are a lot actually but again it is very important to understand the the basic concept or the general concept or the foundation on how on how it works okay so uh, I think this is the starting point of our journey in web development okay so uh, if you have some questions uh, again just write it on the chat box we still have uh, two to three minutes remaining time and uh, thank you also for the for having time in joining with me for this launching although uh, sometimes there are voices coming from different uh, neighbor neighborhood or neighbors uh, uh, you know distractions but that's okay and uh, we will the, the important thing is that we will continue and I will continue to share with you uh, the knowledge that I have although I don't want to over promise with you that you will be so so much expert because of what I'm feeding you but what I'm teaching you is the is your uh, will be your capital in your in this journey this will be your starting point and all the rest will be explorations even me I am continuously learning I am I am also uh, doing my adventure in programming I am also adapting the new technologies right now there are, as you can see also from our screen for a moment I will show it back the uh, original screen okay so as you can see also from your screen we have there I include there the JavaScript maybe some of you will 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 wonder why is it that there is no jQuery why is it that there is no react JS Vue JS angular JS or the whatever version of this angular Vue and react and why is it JavaScript because for your information all of them is started or all of them are JavaScript so it is very important for you to understand the the core or the the basic JavaScript so some people also misunderstand when we say basic uh, basic yes is simple that's true but uh, that is also the most complex because that is the core that is the foundation and everything evolves from there so if you don't if you don't have a good foundation because if you're I'm not against with any framework but if you started to learn from a framework you will learn, you, you don't have a deeper understanding of the core or the core knowledge of that particular programming language so why PHP because that is the PHP classic the PHP core but we can also discuss all other frameworks in PHP so there is code igniter we have uh, Zen framework we have the Yi framework we have a lot of Laravel Sym symphony and we have a lot of frameworks in PHP and this time also we have a lot of database platforms but 
even if it evolves and it is being or if it is innovated from every now and then if you only understand the core knowledge or the basic foundation of everything about this uh, web development you will not be lost you are guided by your uh, by this uh, because you are equipped by this knowledge okay so next meeting by tomorrow supposedly it's uh, 6 to 7 a.m but there are some changes in our schedule but uh, we will we will still continue or we will still try to find time to make it monday to friday except holidays in the philippines uh, because during holidays we have also some uh, other uh, things that need to be done that's why uh, I'm also uh, I will be also using it for other uh, tasks or other things that need to be done so if during regular days especially weekdays Monday to Friday that's 6 to 7 a.m. but this time or temporarily it's Monday Wednesday Friday from 6 to 7 a.m. however we still have session tomorrow Tuesday but it's uh, uh, I think uh, 8 to 9 p.m. okay so from 8 to 9 p.m. or uh, yes from 8 to 9 p.m. anyway every after session I will be uh, I will be announcing if there are some changes in our schedule but the Monday to Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning from 6 to 7 a.m. Philippine time, that is fixed. Only for Tuesday and Thursday because there are some changes in my schedule here. Uh, but again, we will have a session tomorrow. And uh, I want you to be prepared to have your laptop or desktop for for you to be able to uh, to to go with the process and to join and cooperate with the actual uh, with the actual coding or scripting okay so uh, that's all for now and uh, that is actually the secret in web development and in learning different programming languages you have to really understand on how to manipulate the records or the database whatever platform is that you have to learn on how to view the records you have to learn on how to uh, add the record add the record or insert records let's say for example if you're going to create a new contact which i have not yet uh, i have not yet demonstrated because uh, that will take much of our time but that is the concept what I have shown you is the viewing of records so from there that's the starting point that if you can view you c then the next step is to edit records existing records or insert records or delete records so other other calls it uh, CRUD or the create read update and delete or add edit delete add edit delete and view so uh, those things that uh, those things are very important for you to become a web developer or not just a web developer but a programmer of any software technology that you want to use even if it is non-web programming language okay so that's all for now and uh, I hope uh, you have now a better understanding and uh, you will be guided to your journey in uh, web development and in programming career. That's all for now and uh, thank you. See you tomorrow at uh, around 8 to 9 p.m. That's also a live cast. Okay, bye-bye.